hailing from the parish of St. Thomas, Moran Bay in particular, Jerry was brought up by a football family. He emerged as a real gem that brought vision, accuracy and a skill set worth watching to the game. He joined Harbourview in 1993, the best under 40 team ever seen, with him alongside Ricardo Bibi Gardner, plus Robert Little Bibi Scarlett, Kareem Nitch Cook and Kirk Scary Williams, just to name a few. Use magical touches, passes and free throwing style at an early age was just too good to be true. Making his first Premier League debut in 1998, he established himself enough to be voted the Premier League most valuable player of the following season and was rated as one of the best players in the league for a very long time. He made his debut with the Reggae Boys in 1999 to later rack up 42 caps with 12 goals for his country. 23 years at Harbourview speaks for itself, decorated with both local and regional championship titles, trophies and awards. This was complimented by playing for the national team plus seasons overseas at the Major League Soccer Club Kansas City Wizard, Swedish Club Malve, Trinidad and Tobago's W Connection and Mandela United of the New York A-League. Germany is one of the very few elite HBFC and Jamaican players to reign in as much as four Premier League, five All-Island and Kasafa knockouts, two Caribbean football club championship titles plus playing two CONCACAF club leagues. In his time on the field, he scored 34 goals for Harbourview senior team plus many more at the junior level and one in Sweden. He has withstood the test of time and made his return on May 7, 2014 before the unfortunate stain of the banned substance in the Reggae Boys FIFA World Cup qualifier in Honduras imposed a nine-month sanction. He fought that public battle manfully and won respect of standing up for himself, defending the principle of natural justice and gained the right to play again in the league through the courts. Approaching his 37th birthday on June 15, he walks away proudly on his own terms to start a new chapter in his life in the USA with his family and furthering his coaching qualification. Thank you for playing the beautiful game the way it should be.